What's up guys, my name is Alex and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove the side vent on the Raptor. To do this, we're going to need just two things, masking tape or another kind and a flathead screwdriver or another tool with a flat tip. Um, so these aren't exactly necessary, but they're helpful. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a small piece of masking tape Take that off and just put it right over the tip right here and essentially this just makes sure that you don't really scratch up the paint on the Raptor. Um, so let's go do this. Okay so technically you don't even need to put your hand inside. You can actually just disconnect the clips by jamming this in and pulling up. There's a clip here, 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 and here. Um, but just in case, so we don't damage the clips. There's actually, so if you just reach your hand, which is pretty easy, just right into here, you'll be able to feel the clips. It's not, you don't have to reach that far in to get to them. And if you pinch them, I'm not sure if I can get a good angle on any, any of these, but uh, so let's see. Okay, so if you can see right, uh, here -ish, there's a clip in there so I can actually reach my hand in there and just squeeze that so as I said you don't really need to use the uh, flathead and you can just squeeze this and push out the flathead makes it a lot easier just to pull it when you pinch the clip I mean you also don't need to pinch those clips but I prefer to just because I don't really risk damaging anything so by taking my flathead and uh, wedging it in here. So I'm going to pinch the clip, I'm going to push this under and just pull out a little. And that's the first clip releasing. And quickly, just make sure that you hear either a loud snap or two smaller ones because you want to get both sides of the clip out, otherwise it's going to come back in pretty easily. And to get the top one up here, it's a little bit easier to actually go from the side that you already undid. So you pinch that clip and you push out, and there you go. It comes up. So there's another one right here. So we're gonna grab that one. Again, same thing. Again, so just make sure that the side that isn't damaged with the tape is, is on the side with the paint. Um, if both sides of the tape are damaged, just change out uh, the tape on the flathead. So again, as before, we're gonna reach in the side that's already open rather than right over the clip. Bring that in there a little pinch the clip and we're just gonna pop it out like that okay so the last one's gonna be pretty easy since we already got these three out but the tapes pretty damaged and I don't want to scratch the plastic so I'm just gonna change this out okay I have a new tape on here all I'm gonna do is pull this out a little with my hand just to make it easier get that under there bring my hand in and pinch that last clip as I pull this out You, know, you just want to be careful because we don't want to break the clip and there we go the entire piece is up got the serial number and all that and the signature it seems but that's how you get the clip out and again you really if you have strong hands you can just press the clips and push it out um, but using a flathead makes it so much easier um, and you can just use the flathead but there's no reason to risk damaging the clips even though they are metal and probably won't be again just there's no reason to risk anything because you don't want to end up paying like 50 100 bucks for a new part and to put it back in is pretty simple i mean you're going to want to align it properly right because like you don't want it backwards like that it's not going to go in in the first place but uh, just align it and pop it back in and there you go so why might removing this be useful so Twofold. First, the more common one is if you want to, for instance, hydro dip in in something. So like you get a carbon fiber look, which I'm probably going to do, um, or any other color or pattern. The other thing, if you're like me and you're installing these A pillar mounts, and you happen to lose both your bolt and socket wrench all the way down in the bottom of the wheel well, you can't really reach it with your arm, can you? And uh, so going through here, although you can't really get your hand in that far, 
allows you to see the bottom a lot easier and to use another tool like, like this where it's a magnet on the end and it's flexible and you can pull this out and all that just by unscrewing here. Um, or one of these things, which is super long, which has a little like grabber. I use this to grab the bolt that fell and then I use this to grab uh, this socket wrench, which was in there. All right, just a quick tip. Make sure not to leave any tools under the hood because it's pretty easy to forget about them. Close up the hood and bam. You don't know where it is for three, four, five days, or however long it is until the next time you open your hood and it'll be like, hey, that's where my tool is. I know I'm not the only one. I've done this countless times with socket wrenches, screwdrivers. My help, my mechanic did the other day with his, his rag. This is actually pretty funny. This tutorial was uh, useful for you guys. And if you have any more questions or comments, please leave it in the comments section below.